I got a new contract, uh, signed it today actually, so five years, man. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Yeah, no, it makes it makes me feel awesome. It makes me feel like the all the hard work I put in was paid off. But I also know that there's more work to be put in, so I won't be complacent and I'm ready to push it forward. So you take more pride in the fact that a, a lot of players that came into the league the way you did, mm -hmm. especially at your position, yep. don't find themselves in this spot yeah. going forward. How much pride do you take in that yeah. and just your ability to get to that point when so many haven't been able yeah, to? Yeah, no, first off, man, it's a blessing uh, just to even be here, be able to compete the way I am. Um, and it's just a testament to you know, the work I put in, uh, just all the support from my family, friends, my locker mates, my coaches. Uh, it's just, it's, it was a group effort. and. It all worked out, so I'm happy. How involved were you with the contract talks? Did it kind of come out of nowhere? Yeah. And how did you find out? Uh, they've been talking for a little bit, a couple weeks. And um, going into last week, you know, I knew they were talking, but I didn't think it would get that serious. But uh, I'd say Friday and Saturday, they made a big push for it, and then it finally happened. So. Yeah. How did you find out? Oh, I was I was with talking to my agent. We met oh, okay. a lot. So, yeah, I knew, I knew where we were at with it, so. Yeah, I definitely called my mom and my dad, and um, yeah, just let them know the good news, and they were super happy. Um, yeah, then and I then I called my financial advisor right after. So. <laughs> <laughs> what other opportunities did you have in 2020? Who else could do, were you considering? Yeah, um, the two major ones were was, was here and uh, the Raiders. Those are the two the two I got to choose from, and uh, I chose the right decision. So I'm what glad to be here. What that made you choose? Um. Well, I'm a, I'm a Texas boy. I went to high school in Texas, college, and at Texas Tech. So to be in Dallas is a dream come true. And uh, uh, close to my family, and uh, I feel like this is the best situation to come into. So. And uh, Lyell and also uh, Kyra here, mm -hmm. did they, how much did they help you? Kind yeah. Of no, they were huge. Uh, Lyle and, Ka and uh, Tyron, especially coming in that first year, you know, they just whatever they would see, I need fixing. They would they would tell me, you know, they weren't selfish or anything. So, um, uh, hats off to them, um, just for even, you know, taking the time to to tell a young rookie, you know, just just the ins and outs of things. So, after Remember? everything, oh, after everything you've gone through with the injury, to be in that moment to sit and sign the contract, mm -hmm. what did that feel like? Did any of that come rushing to you? How yeah, no, it was awesome. I was overcome with. Uh, Pretty much every emotion, uh, just happy. Um, I'm just happy it all paid off. Uh, you know, this is a dream come true, and I've, I've thought of this since I was very young. So just to actually see it coming to fruition is awesome. Do you remember when you thought, hey, I, I might be able to play not only in the NFL, but play here for a while? Yeah. Like, was it in 2020, or did it take you a little bit? Yeah, uh, no, it was in 2020. You know, I obviously had my, my bumps and bruises, um, just my learning curve uh, that first year. But you no, know, after that first year, I, I came off with a lot of confidence. I knew I needed to work on, uh, use the off the off season to my advantage and you know, kind of find, find uh, tune some things. So um, I knew pretty early on. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you say learning curve, but it was really more thrown in. The yeah, yeah. Into the deep, that, into the pool. Yeah, that COVID year, I man, it was just, it was hard for everyone. So, uh, especially an undrafted rookie, but it, uh, it all worked out, so. I mean, and just in terms of having to play. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. That. No so training did it, camp. Did it seem overwhelming at the time, and now you view it as a blessing. Or oh, one hundred percent. The normal. Yeah. Track. No, I, I'm, I'm ready for whatever. If you, can, I'm, I wasn't. No, I'm, I'm up for any challenge. So I, I liked it. It was cool. Being as diligent as you were during your recovery and, and getting back to the field in time to start the season, do you feel like that played a big role in getting this done as early as you did? Uh, I think yeah, probably had a little something to do with it. Um, just gave them a lot of confidence in uh, just the knee and then me coming back, you know, just uh, I've heard some people come back and they're not the same. So I just wanted to make the, a point coming back that, you know, I'm, I'm keep progressing like I have. I'm sorry. Mike McCarthy said that you, you were here every day at the same time. Yep. What time did you what time did you get here? Uh, I got here pretty early. I don't really remember exactly what time, but, you know, I had my, my routine. I like getting a hot tub, you know, roll out just before I did my uh, PT stuff with Brit. So, um, yeah, I like to stay consistent. I don't like getting out of uh, my groove. So. so it's not like I'm here at 5.30? Yeah. It's not a 5.30 in the morning kind of thing, right? Not that early. I need, I need my sleep, but probably like a 7, 7, 6.30, 7. <laughs> nah, nah, my, everyone's been pretty cool. I, I had none of that, so. What, what, what kind of purposes you got in mind? Um, honestly, I must probably take care of my parents, buy my mom a car, uh, get Pop some, make sure he's, he's good. So let me take care of my family first, then uh, I'll worry about 
we'll know whatever I need after that. So. That must mean a lot to you to be able to give Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's like one of my main goals of, you know, coming in here and uh, just competing. And I want to take care of my family and make sure they're good for the long run. So. When you talked about that routine of coming in and staying dead all that, where did that, uh, where did that come from? Yeah, uh, just the way I was raised up, um, military household. So, you know, you do everything the same uh, day in, day out. So I guess just, just learning from an early age. No, they they uh they believed in me since I was young. Um, they're always in my ear, you know, encouraging me. Uh, they always said I'd be here, and it worked out. So just uh, thanks to them for you know just keeping positivity in my ear and my head, and just telling me I can be whatever I want to be. So. What was the response your mom to that? Uh, no, they're obviously happy. Uh, my mom, she uh, she was ecstatic. My pops was ecstatic too. Man, they just they just couldn't say enough good things. Um, yeah, and they're telling me just uh, to be smart with. Uh, just people coming at me and just don't waste my money and all that, all that mom stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Appreciate y'all. Yeah.